Hey guys, Adam Blue again. Thank you for joining me for another week in gaming. Um, it's going to be kind of a Konami bashing week in gaming. Uh, so, to start off, uh, Konami has canceled Silent Hills. This was going to be the um, kind of, I guess, uh, reimagining of the Silent Hills franchise done by Kojima. And it was going to star, I believe his name is uh, Norman Reedus. Uh, sorry, I don't watch The Walking Dead, but he's one of the popular characters from The Walking Dead. Anyway, um, They've announced that it's been canceled, and that's a big deal. That could, that's a big money maker right there. Survival Horror, uh, Walking Dead, Kojima, and that's weird. It's like, why are they canceling? Well, then they delisted themselves from the New York Stock Exchange. So Konami has, is like, they're just going away, and it's like, what's going on? Jim Sterling, if you want to check out Jim Quisition, the Jimquisition.com, he has a video about things Konami has done to really kind of point out their sliminess. Uh, uh, who knows what it is? It's just execs that just want the company to go in a certain direction, but it's just all sort of strange, um, but this does mean that that PT demo on PlayStation 4, which is kind of a little survival horror tease, um, is, has been pulled. If you haven't downloaded it yet, uh, it's pretty much gone for good. If you have and you've deleted it, you can download it again. Uh, so uh, that's a good thing. But to go back on the, uh, the Silent Hills being cancelled, so that was actually also going to be uh, created by uh, Guillermo del Toro, a uh, director that did uh, a lot of cool movies, a uh, favorite of mine, Blade 2. Um, but what's interesting is uh, Guillermo del Toro was working on a, a game with THQ, and then THQ went under, and that game gone. So del Toro moved on. So now we have Konami. Cancel Silent Hills. Del Toro's thinking, crap, this gaming industry, no, 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 del Toro, stay in the gaming industry. It will happen. Just, just, just wait a sec. Last week, Valve announced that uh, modders on Steam can charge for their mods. So for any game where someone made a mod for it, and that's what being a PC gamer is known for, all the modding you can do. Um, but now apparently uh, modders can charge for this. You know, I guess there's hard work put in, into these mods and I guess they deserve uh, money from that. Uh, but uh, a lot of these times these mods aren't um, really that great and there's really no uh, security of your purchase. You buy it, who knows how it's gonna work out. If the developer patches the official game and then the mod doesn't work anymore, it just seems all a little strange. And what do you know? Uh, Valve decided to pull back on it. No longer uh, do they have a marketplace to charge for mods. Uh, the community spoke out, and I think that's just excellent. And now uh, Valve is also allowing um, developers to ban uh, users from their games. Uh, from what I understand, this is multiplayer only, but. Uh, someone could be a total jerk online, and a developer could at any time go in and ban them. Um, I don't, I don't, I haven't read the full extent of it, but it, it just makes me think about uh, again Jim Sterling. I don't know why I think about him all the time, but how he he tends to jump in, try out these these Steam games because Valve is just letting games just pile onto Steam, and some of them are absolute crap. I'm sorry, but they are. And uh, Jim will kind of review them and be like, yeah, this game's crap, don't get it. And there's been a lot of backlash. All right, guys, well, thanks for watching this week of Week in Gaming. I, I don't really think there's been much going on. You know, it's getting to that time. We're going to get E3, big Russian news, and then I think it's going to die down for a while. So uh, thanks for watching, and tune in next time. See you later.